final word for Wisdom Cricket Monthly, fueled by Kookaburra Cricket. Adam Collins and I'm thrilled to have with me West Indies superstar Michael Holding to have a chat about a range of things, not least Jimmy Anderson. What a performance out here at Lords the other week. He's the first Englishman to ever take 100 wickets at an English venue, at any venue for that matter. Yeah. Um, I know you're very reluctant to compare eras and to compare bowlers across eras, but where do you see him sitting in terms of the, the, the pantheon of the great swing bowlers over the years? Absolutely brilliant. You know, when you talk about swing bowling, Jimmy Anderson, I think, would have to be at the top of the pile. Mm. He has such great control. That's what I keep on telling people. It's a matter of the control. If you're swinging the ball a long way and you don't have the control, it won't really matter. He has great control. He longevity because of his, he keeps himself in good condition. He trains hard, which is very important. Not too many people recognize what happens behind the scenes. People will see people turning up at the cricket ground and think, oh, it's easy. Just go out and bowl. It's a lot of hard work. He runs a lot of miles. He trains during the winter. And with that control and his strength and fitness, that's why he has been able to do what he has, he has been doing. Mikey, it's a great segue as to what we're doing here today with Proata. You're one of the elite experts on this new application which is designed for amateur cricketers and trying to emulate their pros I see on TV. How does a player like Jimmy Anderson, what sort of techniques would he deploy at training to be able to do what he does today? Well, it's a matter if someone is going to ask Jimmy Anderson about swing bowling, Jimmy Anderson can point them in the right direction into, into certain aspects of it. But there is no way Jimmy Anderson is going to make another Jimmy Anderson. Mm. It's just a matter of teaching kids the basics and then hoping that they can build on those basics. If it was that simple to make cricketers, to make swing bowlers or to make fast bowlers, all countries would just manufacture them. It's not that simple, but it's a matter of identifying the strengths and weaknesses in kids, helping them to get over their weaknesses and helping them to build their strengths. And with Proatar, they'll have the opportunity to speak to you directly through this app. Directly. They can send their videos and you can give them some, some pearls of wisdom as to what you think is wrong with them, what they're doing right, and try and build a better bowler. And not just talking to them, illustrating on the videos that they have sent. For instance, your front knee might be bent, you can freeze the, the app, show them where the, where the knee is bent and ask them to try and straighten it if they're in a bad position that they get to the ball increase, if their head is tilting. That's the great thing about this. Mm. They send the video, you look at the video and you say, listen, try and sort this out. And then you send it back to them with your voice talking to them, the illustrations on the video, and they can go and work on it and send it back when they think that they have done enough work. It's not, it's not something instant because they have got to work on it. And some things you work on it for an extended period of time. When you think you have done some work, you can send it back again. And I can say, yes, you look good now or no. Go back and do some more. Imagine that. Imagine getting told from Michael Holding, oh, you're just, you're just not quite on track. Or on, on the other hand, you can you're be an international right cricketer one day. You're right there. Last but not least, this series is not delicately poised at all. It's 2-0. No. England are skiing downhill. Um, you've seen so much test cricket. What chance of India got of turning it around at this point in the series and if they are to um, what would be the main catalyst for that? It's going to be very difficult. I, you know I don't think they were prepared very well for this test series. Coming to England is completely different from going to any other country. If you are unfamiliar with English conditions this is so foreign it is unbelievable. It's almost as learning a new language. It's not easy. They need to try to find a, a way to combat the movement that they are coming across. Coley tried it by coming out of his crease. He was mm. successful to a degree. But then every time a great batsman or a very good batsman does something to try and combat what the bowler is doing, if the bowler is good enough, he finds a way to counteract what that batsman is doing. So it's up to India and their batsmen to find a way to last at the crease, not just survive, because I don't want to use that word, because... The way the ball has been moving around, especially here at Lords, surviving is not going to be good enough. Because at some point you're going to get down and play a delivery. You've got to last at the crease and score runs at the crease. And they have got to find a way. It's not impossible. Teams have come here in the past. Ball has swung around just mm. as it's swinging around now. And they have been able to find a way of making runs. So it's up to India to find that way. Could be easier said than done. We're off to Nottingham for the sure. third test match later this week. Mikey, thanks for joining the final word for Wisdom Cricket Monthly, fueled by Cookabar Cricket. My pleasure, Adam.
I would love bowling for pink ball. Um, obviously, you've got the, the theatre of a, of a day-night test match, um, especially down in Adelaide, it's been incredible. Um, but for me, the pink ball, um, I've get a lot of assistance off the wicket down in Adelaide. Um, so I've had a bit of success with the pink ball. Um, and yeah, a, bit, a few different cross scenes uh, and just getting a, a great feel out of the hand uh, bowling for the pink ball. So yeah, I really enjoy the day-night test matches.